Good evening, good peoples. Namaste, as they say. JS here, checking in this 18th day of August 2019. This sultry summer Sunday weather here in Boston is 79, humid. For those of you tuning into the first for the first time, welcome. You have stumbled upon, or maybe we're told to go stumbling to, this channel. And I have a goal of running this show, broadcast, vlog, video journal, video recording for one year. And we'll see how it goes. For now, I have hit my goal of going on a month, one month of doing the video every day. The times have varied. Later, it's been, as of late, it's been later on. Uh, but I follow a framework which I've developed, and right now it seems to be working. I'm sculpting these videos every day, which reinforces a positive, healthy, creative lifestyle of recovery, integrity, and actuality. My overall long-term goal is to help build a community based on commonalities with the message of positivity, recovery, integrity, and actuality. I'm a visionary, and I plan to open up a treatment facility to service addictions to support a mental health community using a, whole, a holistic approach, whole with a W, holistic, as well as holistic, um, using art therapy, culinary arts, creative writing incorporated into a highly interactive holistically based on empirically proven techniques now this treatment center is going to incorporate food art culinary uh, culinary creative writing as well as group therapy um, introspection reflection uh, it's going to be in the future and you know it's one of the things that's long term um, Derek L is quoted Derek Lambert over he's a, he's a YouTuber um, has quite a few followers um, he, he does a great job he's been in recovery for four years got his life back together and I've watched him throughout the years um, his be your own vision is his advice quote a positive message uh, he always sends a positive message uh, always good um, one day I'll get in contact with him to try to um, Kind of, we're not in competition. I don't look at this as like a competition with other YouTubers. You know, I look at this as a collaboration. And a friend from school um, who I reconnected with is doing kind of something similar. Uh, Johnny Blaze, uh, um, Del Diablo, Del, Del Diablo. It's on Instagram. I'll show you. I'll do the. Um, you know, in the description, I'll, I'll send his link. But he actually has had some experience with interviewing broadcasting on, on ESPN. And we're going over scripts, kind of, we're both at a, kind of a starting point, making a foundation for eventually a podcast. Uh, mine, I try to keep mine under 10 minutes, my the YouTube videos. But this is, you know, the beginning. It kind of tells what's what I've been doing. Um, you know, I just got in, in recovery and... Uh, I've, I've been to some, you know, down some dark roads, and I've come back to carry the torch, you know, while being a beacon of light. Um, the research is over, I've, data is gathered, and it's time to analyze and share with the world. You know, but I'm making sure my foundation is solid so I can be of service to others in my fullest, capac in to, in my fullest capacity. Brings me to my Bemis score. Bemis, for those first tuning in, is by body, mind, spirit check every day. You know, throughout the day, I, I gauge my score from a zero to ten. It's in an area code four and the three numbers. Uh, so one is tired. My Bemis for today is six seven seven. So on a scale of zero to ten, on all three categories: body, mind, spirit. I'm tired, but I, I'm eating more proteins, and I'm getting, I have a, a link that, again, you know, John Blaze gave me. I need to look at the PowerPoint and kind of go through, and, and from what he was telling me, there's some parallels between the Bemis score and this program that he has developed. So I'm going to incorporate that, and again, I'll put links at the bottom for, you know, for future reference. Uh, my mind is seven in, in the mind. Um, I'm focused. I have a lot going on, so it's kind of scattered, but I'm getting better with scheduling and planning. And today, I just sanded some walls. I didn't, um, I didn't go and and do anything too crazy. Um, it's a Sunday. 
I worked all, you know, helped out all week, so I don't need to, you know, to do over, you know, whatever. Plus, it's there's black mold on there, and I, I need to sand it, I need to get a mask, and it's a whole process. So I set it up, you know, today, um, so I am getting better, you know, mentally being able to make those decisions. Uh, in the spirit, I'm seven. Uh, I went to the meeting this morning, Ashland Sunday. Um, I'm able to stay connected throughout the day. You know, like I said before, things just happen. You know, it seemed to click. So, you know, I know that I'm being helped throughout, you know, the day. And I, I do have have the contact. I just need to keep keep it throughout the day and in the morning. Make sure I definitely say, you know, be grateful for another day on this green earth. Because it, it can be, you know, going into that third or fourth dimension can be beautiful. Um, a dream, almost a dreamlike state. I'm thankful for videos um, to being able to help, um, I'm, I'm battling some visitation rights with my daughter right now, so it's, you know, my spirit, that's why it's a little lower as well, but I understand that it takes others longer to catch up, it takes our loved ones longer to catch up in, in recovery, um, I mean, I ruined some things, it's like a Tasmanian devil, uh, very selfish when it comes to, when it came to a lot of things, so, uh, you have to make a decision to fully commit to recovery, you know, it's other people, the family members, loved ones, significant others, they have a time lag, you know, almost, um, the best way I can put it, uh, describe it. So, you know, the quote as it relates to the title today of Life Energies is from the author of The Healing Power of Blake. It's a distillation. Uh, the editor is John Diamond. He's a medical doctor. And the quote comes from the preface and of the book, it's actually eight sentences uh, within four paragraphs and also has a reference, it references Hippocrates, who was a Greek physician, considered one of the most outstanding figures in the history of medicine. So the preface in the book, you know, The Healing Power of Blake, a distillation, we can see that, by John Diamond. So the preface reads his background. Um, and the book is also in this format here. It's not left to right. It's it's up and down. And the greatest lines of Blake are long, too long for the average page. The usual solutions have to to have been to break the line, disturbing the flow of symmetry, or else use a font so small it reduces the significance of his utterance. However, by turning the page, the lines can now be presented unimpeded and boldly as Blake deserves. So this guy has a lot of respect for Blake, and I love the way the book's set up. It's awesome. Uh, so the preface reads, For over 30 years, I have employed the therapeutic power of poetry in my holistic practice, encouraging my patients to write their own poems, but also read those to the masters to read them aloud, especially to sing them. All creativity has the power to raise the life energy, the healing power within, the vis medicratis naturae of Hippocrates, and poetry is no exception. In fact, its ability is second only to that of music, and when sung, it is, of course, the equal. Over the years, I investigated and used many poems. At one time, I had a library of over 2,000 poetry books. I have researched many, many poems and have consistently and invariably found those of Blake to have the greatest healing power. They are the most therapeutic. It is in this spirit that I offer you the selection of Blake at his most life energy enhancing. Not as a literary scholar, but as a doctor who rep he respects greatly the supreme therapeutic value of high creativity. The creativity healing power is what I am using while creating these videos and also creating my art, which I want to show you right now before I forget, because I forgot yesterday, I didn't do it. So here is my life water collage. Can we see that? All right, and I will be sponsored at one point. Um, now, all you have to do is finish the collage and then go and call them or, or write to them. And that'll, you know, they'll, I'm sure that they'll hook me up with at least a t shirt, a hat, something, and then, you know, some water. And along the way, once, you know, I got just 26 subscribers now, and, you know, I'm doing the best I can with getting it up. Hold on, bear with me over here. Uh, 
Alright, and there's my script. Wow. This is big. That's my fail right now, guys and girls. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We're going to keep it like that. So, uh, creativity is the ultimate defense against not only addiction, but it's a key component in my recovery, and it's directly interrelated to the BMIS score. Uh, and it's all learning. It's all learning experience. You know, and another book that I'm reading is Brain Rules. Uh, by John Medina, so Brain Rules is right here, and one of his quotes um, is, we remember things much better the more elaborately we encode what we encounter, especially if we can personalize it. The trick for business professionals and for educators is to present bodies of information so compelling that the audience does this on their own, spontaneously engaging deep in elaborate encoding. It's a bit weird when you think about it. Making something more elaborate usually means making it more complicated, which should be more taxing to the memory system, but it's a fact. The more complexity means greater learning. So all this stuff that I'm doing with the art, with the going to different groups, with traveling, with make you know, it's a very complex process. And it all and this here itself, making the YouTube videos with all the, the scripts. Um, and everything and keeping it together. I'm basically running a dissertation every day on my day and what the the views are of, of different peoples, you know, throughout the day. Um, so it's you know, it's hard, but it's 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 very complex and that's how the learning process is to kind of rewire and, and change, you know, what I'm doing. So in sports news, Phil Mickelson nearly misses tea time after lightning strikes his hotel and sparks fire. Uh, he was he was left without his. I don't mean to laugh. That's terrible. He he was left without his clubs and clothes and used social media to share his dilemma. He ended up not qualifying for the tour championship finale at the East Lake next week, and neither did Tiger. So, if you're a golf uh, fan, uh, you have. Uh, uh, former NFL star Cedric Benson dies in a motorcycle crash. The 36-year-old former Texas Longhorn was the fourth-round draft pick in the 2005 draft and a member of the 2006 NF NFC Championships team for the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears tweeted that. Uh, US UFC News, Stipe Miosic uh, defeated Daniel Cormier in the UFC 241 to again become the heavyweight champ. Uh, Cormier actually defeated Miosic in UFC 226 in July 2018. Um, he knocked him out in the first round, so it was a little um, payback there. And in U.S. news, potential U.S. mass shootings were averted, three of them. I'm not going to say their names because uh, they, don't, they don't deserve to be mentioned on here um, on the Daily Dose, and I, I'm not giving them any credence. Um, but there was a, in Connecticut, Facebook expressed interest in shooting. Daytona Beach, he's, this kid sent uh, his girlfriend text messages. And in Ohio, a 20-year-old was arrested for allegedly threatening to carry out shooting at a Youngstown Jewish community center in an Instagram video. Um, he had a guy shooting over there, so... Good job getting these people uh, before anything happened, and I think we just need a separate entity just to c patrol social media, and not just the FBI or the cops or anybody. Like just a separate entity, you know, like a neighborhood watch type deal. Um, if you see anything, you know, say something. And in music news: I have Bob Moses tearing up, and I'll put this in the description. Or tearing me up is the name of it. It's an older song, came out in two thousand fifteen. But Bob Moses is good. And Patrick Sweeney, Them Shoes. So Patrick Sweeney, Them Shoes, and Bob Moses uh, tearing, tearing me up. So that's what I got for you. I hope everyone's living in joy, doing what they want to do, doing what they love to do. If not, make a call, send a text, write an email, take a walk. Reach out to a family, friend, doctor, group meeting, YouTube video, social media of some sort. And stay hydrated. Don't text and drive. This is JS, signing off.